Hi guys, it's Andrew from Hidden Rainbow. It's January the uh, 9th at around 8, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm right, I'm uh, doing this video because I wanted to, first of all, I was watching Sam Kind of Gay Blog's video, his recent post to that young man named Craig, and I wanted to um, share my sentiments about that. First of all, Craig, you're young, you're 18, Please don't kill yourself. If you were having those thoughts, um, there's there's got to be somebody you can talk to. And again, as cheesy as it did sound, coming from Sam, it's going to sound equally as cheesy coming from me. I'm here for you. I know exactly what it is you're going through. I know how rough it is. I know how hard it is to be different. I am somebody that, as I've said in many of my other posts, I'm in a wheelchair. So I'm different. I know what it's like on top of just being gay, to also be excluded by way of difference and and the the my physical appearance is different from everybody else's. So when I was your age, I came out when I was fifteen. I almost had to come out twice. Let me explain why. I came out when I was fifteen because I had this thought that when I turned sixteen I was gonna meet for some reason, this stupid... I, I had seen this movie when I was a kid called Get Real or something, and it was about this 16-year-old British guy who, on his 16th birthday, came out after having, after falling in love with the high school sports kid or something. Really dumb. Anyway, I had this idea that when I turned 16, my luck with boys would change. That for some magical reason, they would find me attractive or something. Well... That never happened. I came out, and it was pretty easy to come out in my small town because people didn't talk to me already because of my wheelchair, so I didn't feel a lot of backlash. Where I felt the backlash, as I said before, and as I'll say again to you now, is when I had to, when I turned 19, I moved to Ottawa, Canada for university, which is where I am right now, still doing my uh, master's. And so, when I came out, it was hard to go to the gay clubs and be accepted. I had to come out twice. As somebody who was different physically, and then gay. And then, I had to be somebody who was gay and disabled. So, I understand how hard it is when you feel alone. You feel isolated. You feel scared that it's not going to change, but... There's something you need to understand, and anyone, anyone that's watching this needs to hear this and understand what I mean when I say this. It is your job, as somebody who is different, to educate. It is my job to educate people about what it means to be disabled and gay. It is your job, Sam and Craig, anybody out there listening, to educate people. People who are homosexual, yes, they're different, but we're put here, all of us, gay, straight, bi, black, white, Asian, whatever, whatever you are, you're put on this world to educate people, to show them that it, being different is okay, and being different does not mean you're normal. No, because what is normal? Define normal for me, and once you can do that, we can then talk about that, but at this point... It's okay to be different. It's okay, and you are going to feel this way for a while until you find your niche. Once you find your niche, wherever that is, it's okay. You're gonna, you're gonna, it'll fall into place. Sam was right. It's gonna fall into place. Um, but killing yourself is not the answer. You need to go through this pain right now to grow yourself. This pain is important for you because it's teaching you lessons about yourself. Anyone that's watching this, I, I've, been, I've gone through it. I am 26 now, and I still have trouble meeting guys because I'm different. I still have trouble going on dates because I'm different. That pain never really goes away. It's always there. It's numb and kind of dulling now. But what it teaches you is that people don't understand, and it's your job to make them comfortable. So to anyone that's watching who feels this way, Please, I have a I have a, a group, Hidden Rainbow. You guys all know it. Anyone that watches this, 
vlog knows it. It's important that we go on there and we talk about our experiences to help people like Craig out. Um, I've been trying to start through Hidden Rainbow. I haven't had much time, but I really like this idea of Speak Now. Uh, so I, I've entitled it Hidden Rainbow Speak Now for people to just come on leave a video of how they're feeling to one of us. I'm hoping that if Sam's watching this, he can um, collaborate with me on it or anyone that's watching. Hidden Rainbow Speak Now. Just come on and talk. Leave us your problem, your feeling, and I, or Sam, will come back. Um, I hope Sam, or anyone that's watching, Sam, if you don't want to, that's cool. But I'm just throwing it out there. Um, can come back with, and we'll, just tell us how you're feeling, tell us your problem, and maybe we'll come back with advice, just so that you don't feel alone, so that you don't have to feel so isolated. And I promise you, everybody, that it, it may not feel like it's going to get better, and you are still going to go through hardships. I'm not saying you won't. But I wanted to write to you because I think that this rash of suicidal um, youth is disturbing. But again, the, the biggest thing that I want to take from this post, and I am rambling on, is that it's your job to educate. Don't feel like you're burdened. Don't feel like being gay is... is that hard, just realize that it's your job, that yes, you are different, you never, Sam was saying that you wanted a normal life with the white picket fence and kids and all that stuff, look at Neil Patrick Harris, look at people who have said, basically, fuck the institution of needing to have kids, the proper way to basically stick my dick in a pussy, so I apologize for the crass language, but to do that, and to have to, you know, have a kid, I understand the desire, but there are other ways to get around it, and there are other ways also to define normalcy. So I wanted to just put that out there to you, and um, I'm going to put my email again. Uh, I'm here on YouTube quite often because I often respond to what Sam says because I think his videos rock. Um, I often have my own opinions about stuff and things like that. So, please, um, anyone that's Craig, Sam, if you're watching this, uh, Sam, your video was beautifully shot. That is amazing. If you could tell me what kind it is and how I can take awesomely attractive shots of myself like that, that'd be great. Craig, we're here for you. I'm here for you. Sam has said he's here for you. Anyone that's watching and you want to talk, we're all here for you. Let's just, let's just make, let's just try and realize that we're all colors of the same rainbow here. So, we gotta love each other. And that's what Craig needs right now. That's what we all need right now. Whether whether you're in a relationship or not, everybody needs somebody to love. And I, and I, I, I would like to just spread the love to anyone that's feeling lonely right now because we're here for you. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.